sejak 18 tahun yang lalu. Bagi saya, membawa perubahan positif kepada kehidupan penduduk kita di Pasiris Punggol adalah aspek yang paling bermakna. Semasa bertemu penduduk pada waktu itu, saya juga berpeluang bertemu ramai bayi dan kanak-kanak yang dibawa oleh ibu bapanya. Saya gembira melihat ramai penduduk muda Pasiris yang saya temui pada tahun-tahun awal kini telah membesar dan menyumbang semula kepada masyarakat Pasiris, Pasiris Ponggol kita. Tahun lalu, saya bertemu dengan Cikgu Siti, seorang guru muda di PCF Blok 738. Siti pernah menjadi murid di sana. Beliau menerima beasiswa PCF untuk mengikuti kursus diploma bidang pendidikan awal kanak-kanak dan kini menjadi rakan sekerja bekas guru PCF-nya, Yvonne. Mereka sekarang mengajar kanak-kanak generasi baru di Pasiris kini. Setiap tahun, saya menghadiri program sambutan Hari Kebangsaan Sing Singapore yang istimewa di Sekolah Rendah Pasiris. Sambutan Sing Singapore ini menunjukkan ikatan berbilang, berbilang kaum yang kukuh dalam kalangan masyarakat Pasiris kita dan di Pasiris Ponggol. Sama seperti sama seperti rakyat Singapura yang lain, ramai keluarga Melayu Islam telah mendapat manfaat daripada dasar-dasar baru di peringkat nasional. Paket generasi perintis, medisi life yang baru dan CPF life yang lebih fleksibel juga akan memberi jaminan yang lebih untuk semua rakyat Singapura sepanjang hayat mereka. Pemerintah akan terus gigih berusaha untuk membantu masyarakat Melayu Islam mencapai kemajuan yang lebih baik pada tahun-tahun akan datang. Lebih ramai golongan muda Melayu Islam melanjutkan pelajaran ke peringkat pasca menengah. Skills Future akan membolehkan setiap orang meningkatkan diri dan mempunyai pekerjaan yang lebih baik. Pasiris Bonggo kita terus giat berkembang dengan penuh bertenaga. Kami telah membuka kemudahan baru untuk penduduk kita dan menarik taraf estet perumahan kita yang dibina awal. Kami juga telah mengulurkan bantuan kepada penduduk yang memerlukan. Rakan sepasukan saya dan saya sendiri mengucapkan terima kasih atas sokongan anda dan berharap untuk terus bekerjasama dengan anda pada tahun-tahun akan datang. Kami berharap anda akan mengundi bagi kesinambungan dan kestabilan Singapura untuk membawa negara kita ke hadapan ke arah SG 100. Pada hari Jumaat ini, sokonglah kami untuk membina sebuah pasukan kepimpinan Singapura baru yang baik yang boleh bekerja sama dengan anda untuk masa depan anda, untuk masa depan anak-anak anda. Undilah parti yang akan bekerja sama bersama anda. Undi anda untuk anda dan demi Singapura. Undilah BAP. Terima kasih. Kewei Paisa Panga de Jimin. Wo zai 1997 nian chengwei ni men de guo hui yi yuan. Zhe 18 nian wo he da jia yi qi cheng zhang. 
，我在白沙榜呢，包括包括很多可爱的宝宝。现在他们都长大了，为白沙榜呢做出贡献。去年我在大牌七三八的 BCF 幼儿园认识。一位年轻老师，名字叫做 CD。他以前是在那里的学生。他读完中学，获得 BCF 奖学金，在理工学院念幼儿园教育课程。现在他自己。和他以前的老师是同事，一起叫我们白沙新一代的小孩。过去十八年，我每年都出席白沙小学的国庆日庆祝会。二零一三年，这所学校庆祝。二十周年，我认识一位老师，名字叫做 Edna。他是小学早期的学生，就已经在母校教了几年。这表现我们白沙的成长，表现白沙的发展，表现。白沙人民的凝聚力，我们也会好好照顾我们的年长国人，因为白沙过去二十年、二十五年，已经有好多年长者，建国一代的配套，照顾他们的医药费费用。我们在深港、白沙和板儿。有中医诊所或康乐中心，方便他们。我探访一位大姐，大姐的时候，她很高兴，请我进她的家里面，但是也是请我去看她的厕所。为什么呢？因为他要给我看他的防化地板、扶手和斜坡道，因为这些我们监督局有一个新的政策，提供这些方便我们的年长者。我在白沙榜儿当议员。为居民服务了十八年，最有意义的就是和居民的交流，为居民改善每天的生活。我和同僚们感谢大家多年来的支持，希望继续得到大家的支持。为你和你的家人共创更美好的白沙榜儿。这个星期五，请把票投给人民行动党，请把票投给和你共创更美好生活、更美好未来的政党。你我同心。为国为民，把票投给人民行动党。谢谢大家。Friends, residents of Pasiris Bongo, and our friends in Bongo East as well. This Friday, we will all cast our votes. What is this election about? This election is about voting for. Who you can trust with your future? About choosing a team of honest, committed people 
who can get things done for you, who have the heart to serve you, who can do things and do things for you. 可以做事,有心的人. This election is about forming a strong leadership team to take Singapore into the future. The PAP works hand in hand together with Singaporeans to improve the lives of Singaporeans. And we have been doing this for the past 50 years together. We need to have the best possible leadership team to serve you today, but we also need to prepare a good team to take Singapore into the future, working together with you to keep improving the lives of Singaporeans to SG100. And the key word is together. The PAP will continue to work together with you, for you, and for Singapore. Whether we are making national policies, or planning local facilities and programs. We reach out to Singaporeans. We listen to views and feedback. We seek to understand the wide range of perspectives and concerns, and then try to arrive at the appropriate balance. But most importantly, we work together with Singaporeans to develop real solutions that improve your lives and do so knowing in our hearts that we're trying our best to do the best possible for Singaporeans. Now, we have no natural resources. Our people are our real and greatest resource. But people can work at cross-purposes with each other and cancel each other out, and then we have nothing left. Or people can work together and achieve great things together. So one of our greatest strengths and how we have succeeded as a country beyond all odds is that we are able to harness our energies of Singaporeans in a constructive way and work together to achieve a common greater good. And look at what we have achieved together in the past 50 years. Just look around you at the Singapore of today, which all of you can be proud of. So working together is what keeps Singapore strong and keeps Singapore progressing. We work for consensus and not confrontation, for the future and not just for the present, for others and not just for ourselves. Listening to what has been said in this past week of campaigning, it's quite clear that several opposition parties have been engaging in the politics of division, the politics of envy. Dividing our society into different segments, setting one against the other. Accentuating differences across races and communities. Even encouraging betrayal within political parties. So we need to ask ourselves, do we want this kind of society? Do we want a society torn apart by race, religion or politics? Do we want our people filled with anger, envy and hatred for one another? Do we want this kind of politics? Do we want political parties that only speak up during campaign rallies just to score cheap political points? Do we want political parties that avoid tough decisions and make empty promises that they do not have to keep? No, we do not. And what happens if we wake up in the morning and they win? They dream of a coalition of parties and personalities which can't even get along with each other, let alone form a team to lead Singapore. My friends, we have worked hard together for decades. 
to do the opposite. We want to build a cohesive, united and harmonious society where Singaporeans work together with the government to create a better future for all of us and our families. Because we have stood together, we now have a Singapore that we are proud to call home. A vision we can strive for. A dream which is within our reach and within our grasp if we work together for it. Many pathways and opportunities for our young, no matter what your starting point. Strong families, strong communities, ready to help those who are less fortunate or those in need. Ready to do things that are not for self, but for others and for community. Good jobs for Singaporeans in a dynamic economy, so that we can take better care of our families and our seniors. A nation of homeowners, unique in the world, living together in vibrant communities. A sporting, artistic, green nation. Greater peace of mind for all Singaporeans, especially our seniors, with a Pioneer Generation package, MediShield Life, and a more flexible CPF life. These are dreams within our reach, but only if we work together for each other, for Singapore. They will not become reality if we are divided, we are fighting with each other all the time, and we can't get our act together. The PAP has worked hard with you to bring Singapore together to build consensus, even on tough and difficult issues, to plan policies and programs that benefit the largest number of Singaporeans, and to get them implemented as well as we can. No other party offers this. No other party has done this. The PAP will continue to do this and more, always with the interests of you, our fellow Singaporeans at heart. Singapore succeeds because we are united and not divided. And this is our real strength. We have built up this spirit over the past 50 years, and we should be strengthening this spirit further into the future and not let anyone divide us. So let us stay united so that we can build a stronger community, a better Singapore for all of us. Let's do that. Here in Pasiris Pongol, we see many Singaporeans doing that, coming forward to make our local community a better home. I've worked with many of you over the past 18 years and got to know many of our residents. Our activists at the grassroots level have worked very hard. They work for others. They work for you. They work for their fellow members in the community, their neighbours, bond the community to help the needy. It has been a wonderful 18 years, growing and developing with you, just as our community has grown and developed over the years. Back in 1997, Pasiris was a young town. I remember cuddling many babies, and perhaps some of those babies are here today, grown up as adults. I still enjoy cuddling babies, and I'm glad that the number of babies in our Pasiris Pongo GRC seems to be on the rise. Now, as I said, our babies have grown. And during one of my house visits, a young lady, now 15 years old, showed me the trophy she had received from me at a baby show when she was 15 months old. <laughs> so how both of us have grown together. I met a bride on a wedding day in our new Costa Rica BTO flat here in Pasir Is Pongo, the first BTO flats we've had for a very long time. And 70 to 80% of the residents are children of our original Pasir Is residents who have lived here <laughs> since the beginning. And she still has a photo of her 
receiving her EduSave award from me when she was in secondary school. So I hope she will soon start her own family. Throughout Pastor Pongo, we are building communities with you. Miss Penny Lowe has built a marvellous, wonderful, strong community in Pongo North. And I'd like to thank Penny for that. Thank you, Penny. And in Pongo, Janil, Shelling, and Chiming are going to continue to work with our residents in Pongo to build a vibrant new town in Pongo as it grows. I'm happy to see that many of the young residents that I meet or that I met in my early years are now giving back to our Pasiris Pongo community in your own ways. Kindergarten teachers who are teaching in the kindergartens in which they were students. Teachers teaching in the schools where they were primary school students. We want to help all our residents to grow and live fulfilling lives. Many of our residents, particularly those living in Pongo, were cheered by the news that the Singapore Institute of Technology will have its centralised campus right here in our GRC, together with a creative industry culture cluster, which will offer new jobs for our residents. SIT is our newest university and one of the new pathways we are offering to provide opportunities for Singaporeans to deepen skills and knowledge and have good jobs throughout their lives. Through Skills Future, we want to help Singaporeans develop to your full potential, whatever your starting point may be. Our seniors, as they grow older, we need to take care of them and we will see how best to take care of their needs. As I was saying, you know, we will all have heard of the Pioneer Generation package and our Pioneer Generation ambassadors have been doing outreach and we have reached 40% of the pioneers in our GRC to explain to them what are the benefits that they can get from the Pioneer Generation package so that they know, because we want them to use these benefits and we don't want them to stinge on medical care or to avoid going for medical care when they need it. But less well-known, but benefiting hundreds of our seniors, is the EASE program for safe living at home in our GRCs. And now it's a very odd thing when I visit some of the homes in our house visits, people invite me to their bathrooms. <laughs> very strange. <laughs> it's a very interesting experience to be invited by, say, an elderly lady. Come, come, please come and see my bathroom. <laughs> and what she really wants to show us how happy she is with her new non-slip bathroom floors, the handlebars that help her remain stable when she takes a shower, and ramps provided under the program. And this, in a very micro level, shows the kinds of programs that the government has developed to help our citizens, and in this case, our seniors, to live independently, safely at home. Making a positive difference to the everyday lives of our residents in Pasiris Pongo in these many little ways. And this has been the most meaningful part of being an MP for the past 18 years, helping them with their education, sort out their problems if there's a misfortune in the family. So whether it's young families, young adults, seniors, pioneers, we have reached out to you listen to your feedback and concerns. We've worked hard to try our best to serve you well. I'm glad that many of you have stepped forward in turn to serve the community, to work together to make our Pasir Pongo better. My colleagues and I, we thank you deeply from the bottom of our hearts very much for your strong support and encouragement over the past 18 years. Thank you for placing your trust in us and for the opportunity to build a cohesive and vibrant community in Pasir Pongol together with you. We look forward to your continued support and to work with you to build a better Pasir Pongol for you and your families.
we head to the polling booths on Friday. What kind of party, what kind of candidate will you vote for? I hope you will vote for the party and the candidate who is trustworthy, someone whom you can depend on, day in, day out, year after year. I hope you will vote for the party and the candidate who has integrity, who has honesty, and is upfront with Singaporeans and does not hide the issues and the problems, but trusts you to understand and to come along with us. I hope that you will vote for the party and the candidate who gets things done for you, for the benefit of all Singaporeans, not just empty talk and grand plans and ideas during election rallies, or to claim credit for the work done by others just to propel themselves into Parliament. I hope you vote for the party, the candidate, who plans for a better long-term future for you, for your children, and for our Singapore. Not just people who try to entice you with populist ideas, which may sound good on the surface, but which will drain our reserves, all that we have worked for, that our pioneers have saved for 50 years, spent in a flash, and to create a financial burden for our children and our grandchildren, and bring Singapore down the path to bankruptcy, that's not the kind of party or government or the kind of Singapore we want for the future. For the past 50 years, Singaporeans' lives improved year after year. We have done this with the PAP standing united with you, working together with you to build a better life, a better future for all of us. On Friday, I hope you will vote for the party that you can trust and which party is that? Yay! The party that is honest. And which party is that? Yay! The party that gets things done for the good of Singaporeans. Yay! The party that plans for your long-term future here in Pasiris Pongol and for all of us in Singapore. The party that is with you, for you, for Singapore. Vote for the PAP. Majula PAP, Majula Singapura. Thank you very much.